We are live. I'm trying to see if this is up right. Can you guys let me know if this is up right? All right. So, um, as you come on here, if you can just, um, how you guys, whoa, it's like so bright. Um, I didn't realize it was this bright. That's okay though, that's okay. Let's just kind of check this right here. Make sure, hey, so is this upright, Sandy? Can you tell me, is it, or is it, am I flipped up on the side? If you can just tell me, Darren or Sandy, if you can tell me if this is in the upright position. Yes, so it's it's right. I'm not like, I'm not like flipped on my side. You don't have to turn the phone or anything, right? Good, right? Just someone let me know, thanks. I'm not used to shooting on my cell phone, so it's super different for me. Hey, you guys. Hi. So as you come on here, if you can hit the like button and just tell me where you're tuning in from, like what city, what state, what country you're tuning in from. I've got something kind of unplanned for all of you. I'm actually fasting. I tried to to start my fast yesterday and I ended up eating dinner last night. So my fast restarted today. So I'm on a juice fast and I thought, you know what? Since I can't do Tasty Tuesdays, I'm not gonna just make food and let it go to waste. Uh, since I can't do Tasty Tuesdays, I'm gonna do something else. So I have this little tool. I think it's called a love tuner. I picked it up at the Chopra Center the other day thought it was really cool that I um, saw it there. And what it is, is thank you guys, thank you. Hey in Connecticut. Hey, hey in South Carolina. Hello, happy, happy dance. How are you? Go ahead and, and hit the like button. Tell me, keep telling me where you're tuning in from. I look like Dumbo. Hey in LA. Give me hey in New York. Drinking some water with juju berries and uh, cucumber today. I had one juice today. Just feeling the need to cleanse and detoxify. Okay, so um, was at the show for center the other day, and that was the day that I realized that I needed to drop the fork for an extended period of time. I just realized I wanted to get back into my body. Um, really feeling my energy. And so for me, uh, it's not what I take in or what supplement I add in or what, you know, what salesperson sells me something to take to make me quote, feel better. It's what I leave out, who I leave out, what I leave out. It's that is the true way to cellular healing. So uh, I was at the Chopra Center and I had been looking at singing bowls for quite a long time and they're quite expensive for a set. I've wanted a set for quite a long time. Couldn't bring myself to make uh, the plunge. And I always listen to the 528 megahertz on my computer. That's the um, vibration, the tuning vibration to the heart. It's the tuning vibration for love. So I was in the Chopra Center and they had these big singing bowls. They're overpriced there, so don't get them there, get them online. But anyway, uh, I was playing them and I literally felt so at peace, but I was feeling it at my root chakra. I was feeling it up here at my root chakra and down the base of my spine. So as I was, you know, you hit it and then you spin it and as the vibration filled me, and I was sitting in this little corner in this little special seat they have waiting to go in for a massage, and the vibration really, really, really opened me up. And so I bought this love tuner, and this is the same exact vibration, and so I'm gonna blow it for all of you. Okay, it's the other side. You ready?
So that's actually the vibration of love. Uh, this was on sale, I think it was like 30 bucks, and um, it's called the Love Tuner. They're out of Malibu. I should have I should have contacted them first and said I was gonna do this, but I thought this was a really, really cool thing, you know? And I came home and I turned on some music, and it wasn't the vibrational music, it was actually music that I've listened to over the years, and I really, really let go of a lot of stuff, and I realized in that moment that sometimes when we're stuck and we're stagnant, right, we're not hearing what we feel we need to hear. We're not hearing what we think we should be hearing, right? So maybe you put a lot of effort and energy into a situation and, and you're not hearing things or you're not you're not you're not hearing or maybe you've been married for 25 years and you're not hearing the words I love you or you're not hearing um, you know I appreciate you or you're not hearing thank you or you're not hearing and so I realized it had been so long actually a very long time several years since I had really heard straight kindness from anyone I love you thank you I appreciate you outside of my clients so First, it made me a little sad, <laughs> and then I expanded more, and I wore my little flute around. It's dinner time for the boys, so they're going to be uh, growling in the background, and I started listening to more music, and I started listening to more music and more music. Excuse me one second. Hang on, you guys. So sorry. So sorry. Ah, so sorry. So sorry. Sorry about that, you guys. Hang on. I should feed them first, right? Yeah. got me to expand my mind about how our chakras, little chakra candle burning right here, and music go hand in hand, right? It's like the senses, the, the feel, see, hear, touch, you know? It really, really goes hand in hand. So I was sitting there and I was like, God, I'm going to Google what chakra, right, is, is healing is healed by music and they said the crown chakra and that's where I felt that huge shift in myself right and so you know words are powerful words hold a lot of meaning thanks for all the hearts you guys words are a vibration right a vibration of love or a vibration of hate and I really had to check in with myself because I hadn't been speaking to my clients I was, to my family I was, but I hadn't been really um, speaking as much as I usually do. I hadn't been shooting videos, believe it or not, <laughs> as much as I normally do. And I hadn't been expressing as much as I normally express. And I felt really, really kind of shut down. And I had to ask myself, how can I turn the finger instead of outward, inward, and look within? And how can I really heal myself one chakra at a time? And so I resonated that um, in my little compartment of knowledge, and I meditated on it. And then out of the blue, one of my girlfriends, Star Ricard, um, from uh, Big Bear, uh, she used to teach for me in Desert Hot Springs, Palm Springs, when I ran retreats there, she reached out to me and we met for uh, at the juice bar. And, and she said, you know, I run a chakra yoga class now. 
okay. So it was, a, it was like the universe was giving me all these signs that there was some deep chakra healing that needed to take place. So uh, let me take a drink of water real quick. So I realized that as I went through the chakras and I checked in with myself during a really long hour meditation, I realized that two of my chakras were not healed. And the crown chakra was one of them. And I realized that just over the past month, I was healing this mid-center chakra right here because I wasn't digesting right. And that's not like me at all to not digest right. But I realized the root chakra, you know, our base, that grounding energy, that energy that makes us feel rooted and grounded, where we live, where we are, who we're with, excuse me. Um, in that moment that I needed to heal two of the most important chakras there are you know all the chakras are important but the crown in the root chakra are vitally important so a few weeks earlier I had really become vulnerable and opened up to a lot of people just people in everyday life and a specific person and all this stuff and I just felt really shut down even more so I'm going to order the singing bowls because obviously I need to utilize them for myself and then probably utilize them for clients or at my retreats. But I really feel that making sure your chakras are in alignment, especially after, you know, for those of you who, who have suffer from PTSD or um, any of those types of things, this is vitally, vitally important. The root chakra starts here and it goes down the base of the neck. So no wonder I have such bad neck problems, right? I haven't been hearing the things I need to hear. Well, if you're not hearing the things you need to hear, say them to yourself. Be there for yourself. I love you, Andrea. You can say your name, Gordon. Say, I love you, Gordon. Look in a mirror and say it. You're beautiful. You've got a beautiful heart. You've got a beautiful mind. You're creative. You're intelligent. Be there for yourself, right? You've got to be there for yourself before you can be there for others. So I realized there was a lot of outgoing from me, outgoing to people, uh, outgoing to you know clients specifically a lot. But there wasn't a lot coming in. There's always appreciation from my clients, but there wasn't a lot coming in that was also making me feel rooted and grounded. I deserve to feel rooted and grounded, right? I deserve to feel like I belong. I deserve to feel love. I deserve to hear the words, I love you, thank you, I appreciate you, right? We all do. So this was really... Uh, a huge awakening for me. I wouldn't even call it an epiphany. I would call it an awakening. And then I got so emotional during the massage that the woman sent for another woman to go out and get the same bowl I was using. And she brought it in and the other woman did it the whole time while I was getting my massage. And just the tears and just the letting go. And then the next day, nothing. It was like I felt no pain, no anger, no animosity, no shade, nothing. And so that is vitally, vitally important in life, to be able to move through pain and to be able to move through situations without latching onto it. And so if you have a lot of water in your chart like I do, I'm pretty much almost all water, Pisces sun, Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising, Cancer's in the fourth house, a Pisces Venus, Scorpio north node, Scorpio Saturn placement. I'm all water. Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, is represented by cups of emotions. That's what water is. So if you have a lot of water in your chart, you hold on to things. Scorpios hold on to things big time. 
So if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, you hold on to things. You hold on to grudges. You hold on to anger. You, you hold on to things. Pisces is very intuitive. You feel things energetically, right? Cancer, very sensitive. So, excuse me, one moment. So sorry. I think their little appetizer of cashew butter is almost out. So it's important, especially if you have a lot of water in your chart and you're not getting the healing words you need to give them to yourself and also to use music to open up your heart. I, uh, what is it? Is it Khalid is his name? Um, better? That's like my song right now. That's my song, Khalid Better. I cannot, um, I cannot stop listening to that song. I love it. I'm like addicted. Stevie Nicks, I'm so addicted because my sisters made me listen to her growing up. If I turn Stevie Nicks on, it evokes a lot of like sentimental feelings, you know, and, and nostalgia from childhood and I'll just cry. So using that and letting the tears fall and noticing more and more and more each day. Thanks for all the hearts. You guys are so sweet and the shares. Feel free to share this in any groups or on your page. It's empowering, man. I gotta tell you, it's really, really fucking empowering. Oh, I, I said fucking, I'm sorry. It is. And so whether you get one of these love whistles, whether you get a, um, a sound healing, like I've gotten so many times before, and it never resonated until I went into the Chopra Center and I hit that bowl and just the tears flowed and I just felt myself release over and over and over again. I think it was powerful for the women in there too. I think it was really powerful for the women in there. Um, so whether you do, do it through listening to music, getting the love tuner, doing the vibrational bowls sound is healing it's been a long time since i shed tears like that it's been a long time since i could let go of pain that quickly i don't think to be honest with you i don't think i've ever felt so much love for a situation or a person outside of my family and be, been able to let go of energy so quickly to where you know there you know how it is you know how it is you guys you can hold on you can let go but here's the thing if you want forward movement in your life there are so many ways to heal yourself. You could write about it. I'm huge into writing, always have been. You can journal about it or you can put it out there to the public. It might make a couple people angry, but that's okay. You know, I'm not here to make friends. Um, actually, I am here to make friends. I, I'm here to make real authentic friends. But um, you, can, you can drop the fork to really drop into your body to really be able to feel what's actually going on in your body. Or you can listen to music. You can buy a singing bowl or five. You can get the love tuner and you can really, really, really tune in to which chakra is out of balance, out of alignment, and open yourself up to healing. So um, that's my little hypothesis for the, the week, you guys. I'm so sorry I'm not doing a Tasty Tuesdays. I know I need to do a Tasty Tuesdays. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done one. Uh, just energetically, I'm in a, in a space of really wanting to move in, in life and move forward. And so there's a little more action in my life than usual and I'm less eating, more action. And I think that's just where I'm at at this time. But, um, and if you've sent me a message and I haven't answered it on an email or, uh, or on, here on Facebook or on Instagram or anything, there's a reason. I just, I just don't want to. And, um, and that's, that's it, you know? I'm just kind of in a place of um, 
just really wanting to gather my thoughts and gather myself and and just move forward in life. And so if you're feeling stuck or stagnant, um, you have a couple choices. You can join me for uh, my retreat at the end of the month uh, here in sunny San Diego. It's a spiritual fasting retreat. We're gonna fast for three days together on fresh, organic, cold-pressed juices. Uh, there's a fiber supplement I give you so you feel sati satiated the entire time. Uh, you have a warm broth in the evening. Uh, you can have as much juice as you want, and then I refeed you for two days. Most people lose about 10 to 12 pounds. Men always lose more by the end of the week. Um, I've got a breath worker coming and a wonderful yoga instructor. She's wonderful. And um, you're at a really pretty place. So uh, I'll put the link in the description box on here. And I just want to say thank you so very much for um, hopping on here. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, sign up for my newsletter at andreacox.com and you can subscribe to my two YouTube channels at uh, Andrea Cox TV for my health and detox um, protocols and recipe videos, tonic videos, food videos, raw food videos, fasting videos, uh, lots of cool hacks, health hacks on there. Or you can subscribe to my spiritual channel, thedetoxintuitive.com. Okay, thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Post your questions below if you have any, and we'll sign out while Lewis barks at me. He's gonna bark. Okay, bye you guys, be well.